Have you ever wondered why there's a universal speed limit? Why is the speed of light this ultimate cosmic constant? It's a question that puzzled scientists for centuries, leading to one of the most revolutionary ideas in physics. Join me as we unravel the mystery of the speed of light and delve into Einstein's groundbreaking theory of relativity. Our journey begins with a simple question, how fast does light travel? For centuries, physicists grappled with this question, proposing different theories. Some believed light was made of tiny particles, while others thought it traveled in waves. But none of these explanations could fully account for the unique nature of light. It wasn't until the early 20th century that a young physicist named Albert Einstein revolutionized our understanding of light and the universe itself. Einstein's theory of special relativity, published in 1905, completely transformed our view of space, time, and the speed of light. Before Einstein, physicists believed that light, like sound, needed a medium to travel through. They called this medium luminiferous ether. They imagined this ether as an invisible substance permeating all of space, providing a medium for light waves to propagate. To test the existence of the ether, Albert Michelson and Edward Morley conducted a groundbreaking experiment in 1887. They reasoned that if the Earth moved through the ether, the speed of light should be different in different directions. However, the Michelson-Morley experiment yielded astonishing results. They found no difference in the speed of light, regardless of the direction of measurement. This null result shook the foundations of classical physics and hinted at something truly profound about the nature of light. Enter Albert Einstein. In 1905, at the age of 26, Einstein published his groundbreaking theory of special relativity. At the heart of Einstein's theory lay two revolutionary postulates. The first postulate stated that the laws of physics are the same for all observers in uniform motion. This means that whether you're standing still or moving at a constant speed, the laws of physics will behave the same way. The second postulate was even more radical. The speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all inertial observers, regardless of the motion of the light source. This means that no matter how fast you're moving, even approaching the speed of light, you'll always measure the speed of light to be the same constant value. This constant speed, denoted by the letter C, is approximately 299,792,458 meters per second, or about 670 million miles per hour. This value is a fundamental constant of nature, and it has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. Einstein's postulate that the speed of light is constant for all observers, regardless of their relative motion, has been experimentally verified countless times. It's one of the most well-established principles in physics. Section 5. Space and time are intertwined, but how can the speed of light be constant for everyone? This is where things get really mind-bending. Einstein realized that for the speed of light to be constant, our measurements of space and time must be relative. Imagine two observers, one standing still and the other moving at a high speed. According to Einstein, they would measure time and distance differently. The faster you move, the slower time passes for you relative to someone who is stationary. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been experimentally confirmed using atomic clocks. Atomic clocks on airplanes moving at high speeds have been shown to run slightly slower than clocks on the ground. Section 6. Experimental Evidence One of the most dramatic confirmations of time dilation comes from GPS satellites. These satellites orbit Earth at high speeds and rely on precise timekeeping to provide accurate location information. However, due to their speed, time passes slightly slower for the satellites than it does for us on Earth. To compensate for this time difference, GPS satellites have to adjust their clocks by a tiny amount each day. Without this relativistic correction, GPS navigation systems would quickly become inaccurate. The constancy of the speed of light also has profound implications for our understanding of the relationship between energy and mass. Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared shows that energy and mass are equivalent and interchangeable. Section 7. Time Dilation. Time is not absolute. This equation tells us that a small amount of mass can be converted into a tremendous amount of energy, as seen in nuclear reactions and the power of the sun. The speed of light squared acts as a conversion factor between mass and energy, highlighting the deep connection between light, matter, and the fabric of the universe. 
Einstein's theory of relativity revolutionized our understanding of gravity. Newton's law of gravitation described gravity as a force acting between objects with mass. Einstein, however, proposed a radical new idea. Gravity is not a force but a curvature in the fabric of space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. Objects move along the curves in space-time, which we perceive as the force of gravity. Section 8. Einstein's Legacy, A Universe of Wonders Einstein's theories of relativity have had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe, leading to the development of modern cosmology, astrophysics, and our understanding of black holes, the Big Bang, and the evolution of the universe. The speed of light is not just a speed limit, it's a fundamental constant that governs the very fabric of our reality. It tells us that space and time are intertwined, that mass and energy are interchangeable, and that the universe is a far stranger and more wonderful place than we ever imagined. And so, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that the light from those distant stars has traveled across vast distances at the universe's ultimate speed limit, carrying with it the secrets of the cosmos and the legacy of Einstein's genius.